Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Alex and I'm gonna show you in this video how to query collection in Firestore under a certain path. This is a video for an article that I wrote, link is in the description below, which was recently published on the Firebase official publication on Medium. Let's begin. As you already know, Cloud Firestore is a flexible, scalable database for mobile, web and server development from Firebase and Google Cloud. It consists of collection and documents. When working with such database, there are often cases in which we would like to query multiple collections at once. But unfortunately, this is not possible. And it makes sense since the queries in Firestore are shallow, meaning that can only get documents from the collection that the query is run against. There is no way we can get documents from different collections or sub-collection in a single query. Firestore doesn't support queries across different collections in one go, unless we are using a collection group query. But how about limiting the results only to sub-collections that exist under a particular document? So I'm going to explain in this video the most simple and efficient way for solving this problem. Let's assume we have an application that displays landmarks from all over the world, from the smallest to the largest city. So let's take an example of a Firestore database structures for a, such an app. Please ignore the abbreviation as I only use them as example. I really don't know if it actually exists. As you can see, there is a top level collection called countries. Each country document within this collection contains a sub collection called larger cities and another one called smaller cities. Within each city document, there is another sub collection called landmarks that contains landmark objects. In short, it looks like this and like this for the smallest cities. Now the question that arises is how to get all landmark objects of a particular country no matter the size of the city. Since Cloud Firestore version 19.0.0 when collection group method was introduced, we are allowed to perform a query that will include all the documents in the database that are contained in a collection or a sub collection with a given collection ID. So assuming we have the following root reference, we can perform a collection group query that looks like this. And the result of this query will be the following, meaning that we get all landmark of all countries. But hold on, this is not what we want. We need to get only the landmarks from a single country, for example, from the UK. But how can we do that? A relatively simple solution will be to add the country as a property of the landmark objects. So please take a look at the following schema. And we can perform the following query, but is this the solution that we are looking for? The simple answer is no. And why? Because of the following two main reasons. To perform such a query, an index is required. This can be done by creating it manually in the Firebase console, or you'll find in the logs a message that looks like this. This is an answer from a question from Stack Overflow. You can simply click on the link or copy and paste the URL into a web browser and the index will be created automatically. However, there is a downside. Currently, there is no way you can create such an index programmatically. Even if you create the required index directly in the Firebase console, it won't help since the names of the countries are dynamically added and manually creating an index for each country doesn't sound like the best solution. Besides that, it may also lead you to reach the maximum number of indexes very quickly, which is 200. After building the index, we'll get the following results obviously without the US. Since we know that there are some limitations when it comes to how much data we can store in a single document, according to the official documentation regarding usage and limits, the maximum size of a document is one megabyte. So adding more data into the document will also lead to reach this limitation too. So is this the single solution that we have? 
No, it's not. The key to solving this issue without the above limitation is to use a collection group query for finding all matching document paths that start with the given country path like this. The result of this code is the same as before, which is all the landmarks that correspond only to the UK. Please also note that slash UF8FF is the last character in the Unicode, so acts as an end guard. What are the benefits? The first one, there is no index required. Second, there is fewer data that needs to be added in the document. This means that the document will have a smaller size. If you are worried about the size of the document, you can always check against the maximum 1 megabyte quota using the Firestore Document Android library. However, there is a downside. Considering the following new edit country, the result of the following query, where we have changed the document from US to the UK, will be this one. And not only this one, as you probably expected. So please be aware of this contrast. However, there is a solution that can help you get over this limitation, which will be to use only document IDs that are generated either by the collection reference add method or by the document reference set method. In this way, we always have totally different document IDs having the same length and the queries will work as usual without the chances of hotspots. In conclusion, I try to explain in this video the simplest way that currently exists for querying multiple collections in Firestore that exist under a certain path. So I hope you find this video interesting and if you have any questions regarding this topic, please feel free and leave a comment in the section below. So in the end guys, you can check the entire article on Medium. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. But if you think you learned something new, please subscribe to my channel. As you already know, more videos are coming. Bye!